The following is a step-by-step -step review of the stroke case you just saw. It details each action taken by the call taker as she entered the case in ProQA Paramount. ProQA has been designed to work seamlessly with most CAD and phone systems. In this example, you can see the CAD screen displaying the caller's address and phone number. After the call taker verifies this information in CAD, it is automatically transferred to the case entry screen. When ProQA is used in standalone mode, this information can be manually entered into the appropriate fields. The EMD then uses this essential scripted question to get the caller's initial description of the problem. This field allows entry of up to 150 characters of free form text. The ProQA logic will adjust the format of each question depending on whether the caller is the patient speaking to the patient or remote from the patient. Once the number of patients is determined, the EMD determines the age and whether the victim is conscious and breathing. ProQA provides discrete fields for entering these evaluation basics and keeps the EMD on track with an orderly progression of information gathering. Each question represents a necessary dispatch objective. There are multiple ways to select the appropriate chief complaint protocol. It can be selected from an alphabetical list or chosen from a suggested list that ProQA creates when certain conditions such as unconsciousness and respiratory arrest exist. It can be called up by typing in the first few letters of the chief complaint or you can simply enter its unique numeric code as the EMD does in this case. Key question answers are displayed on the screen as soon as the EMD enters the information. In this way, the EMD can immediately see if the recorded answers are accurate. If an answer to a key question needs to be changed, the EMD simply clicks on the specific question and the answer is modified. Specific case entry information is continuously displayed in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. ProQA provides a drop-down list for the EMD to select from. Here, the most common stroke symptoms are listed so that the EMD can quickly select the one that most directly applies to the case. When certain conditions such as stroke appear to be present, ProQA provides diagnostic tools to direct the EMD to determine the likelihood that the condition actually exists. These tools also help determine how severe the case is, driving higher level codes for more severely acute cases. Here, the stroke diagnostic tool provides an EMD script, questions to ask the caller and answer choices to help determine the level of evidence that a stroke is actually occurring. When the EMD has completed the diagnostic tool, ProQA automatically returns to key questions and automatically selects the recommended answer where the EMD enters the results of the tool. Definitions, suffix information, and diagnostic tool information are provided in the additional information tab below the key questions. Here, notice that the additional information tab provides suffixes that combine the level of evidence for stroke gathered from the stroke diagnostic tool and the amount of time that has passed since the symptoms began. Because some conditions like stroke are time-sensitive, ProQA logic takes into account differences between recent and non-recent symptom onset in those conditions. And while it prompts the EMD to identify and record these time frames, local agencies themselves define what counts as recent, depending on local resources and needs. When information in the additional information section is needed to answer a key question, ProQA automatically displays the necessary information. As soon as the additional information is not relevant to the current question, ProQA automatically returns to showing the list of previous key question answers, making it easy to return to a previous key question, if necessary, by clicking the question. Call takers can click on the additional information tab at any time during the call to see the additional information related to the current chief complaint protocol. ProQA will recommend a final determinant code using a medically approved logic sequence. 
In some cases, it recommends more than one determinant code if more than one is indicated by key question answers. The EMD can toggle between all highlighted codes until the desired most appropriate code is highlighted green. Here, ProQA Logic has identified that the patient has experienced sudden paralysis or facial droop on one side, has a history of TIA or mini stroke, and is also breathing normally at over 35. ProQA provides a list of all answers to key questions at the top of the screen and the results of the stroke diagnostic tool at the bottom right to help the EMD select the most appropriate code. The EMD selects the green highlighted code in this case. Local agencies must decide how they will respond to each determinant code based on local resources and needs. ProQA Paramount supplies the codes. Your agency supplies the response. Selecting the determinant code in ProQA automatically sends the case information and final determinant code to the CAD system including the recommended EMS response when ProQA and CAD are integrated with each other. When the call has been dispatched and all key questions have been answered, ProQA automatically moves the call taker to post-dispatch instructions, or PDIs. As she provides the appropriate post-dispatch instructions, or PDIs, the EMD clicks on the PDI completed button that corresponds to the letter of the instruction provided. Critical EMD information such as reminders to the EMD or prompts that hospital staff should be notified of stroke patient symptoms and time of symptom onset is provided in blue text. When all appropriate PDIs have been provided, the call taker looks to the dispatch life support links or DLS links. In most cases, the call taker will select the X link to move on to case exit instructions and to terminate the call. When the patient is determined to be stable, the EMD completes the routine exit instructions. During the case exit sequence, the call taker provides all possible and appropriate instructions from a given screen and then answers a question or clicks the appropriate button at the bottom of the screen to move forward. She then clicks the last instruction, close case button, to terminate the call. 